Alright guys, and welcome back to Valheim. We're going to take on... Yes, we are. We're going to take on the fourth boss today, Moda. Now, this is a dragon. Probably a dragon. It doesn't have four legs. It has two, so maybe a wyvern. I don't know, but it's a nasty beast. And I, in between the last episode and this one, where I managed to locate uh, the actual platform where I summon Moda, I went and gathered a whole load of silver and I've been smelting away, smelting away. <laughs> so I can fully upgrade everything I've got before I take on this fight. So that's what I'm going to do quickly now. Um, I've got 14 silver on me and a load of ancient bark, but let's have a look at what upgrades we can even carry out. So we want to do the Draugr Fang Bow. I must upgrade that from the current level 3 and I think level 4 is the, the highest uh, we've already got uh, the chest and the, the wolf armor legs up to maximum armor value. The Drake helmet, though, does need 15 silver. So let's let's grab ourselves a, a whole heap of silver. And of course we're carrying too much, but <laughs> we'll soon take care of that. Let's upgrade the Drake helmet on its own, first of all. 15 silver to do that, and it's done. That is level four. Can it go any higher? No. So that is a max level quality all the way up to armor level 28 to join the other two. It's beautiful. Okay, the wolf fur cape can go up one more and I might do that if we've got enough silver left over. Um, what we need though, I think, is only one more silver in our group here. So um, we're going to need a little bit of leather. Uh, I should have six guck hiding away in here somewhere. There it is. All right, so let's just grab exactly six. And that, I believe, should be that. So the Draugr Fang Bow upgrade. Here we go. Level four. Beautiful. Now that's absolutely max quality. So everything i own right now is max level apart from the wolf fur cape so we need 12 wolf pelts and six silver do i have 12 wolf pelts i don't think i have i've only got nine. Oh well one thing we will have to leave at one slightly lower level than normal now this fight um i'm going to prepare a little bit for it first so heading over to our moda portal which takes us to the ridiculous heights, practically in the deep north. Now I've got to be got to be very careful here in case I get attacked. So let's just equip our flaming arrows just in case, and we'll head down to the platform to prepare for this. I've got to make sure also there are no stone golems lying around or sitting around as they like to do to come out and surprise us. Okay, so here is our platform. Now I have found another dragon egg and it placed the second one here. It was just somewhere lying around in the mountains, um, but we've only got one more that we need to, to retrieve. And as soon as we've retrieved it and placed it, that will spawn Moda into place. So what are we gonna do to prepare this area? Yes, we're going to dig down. You remember I did this for the elder the elder boss and it is absolutely no different in, t in its principle is to dig down and give ourselves a little cover i've seen this technique used um, on a couple of other people's videos and i think it's absolutely brilliant so we will be employing the same tactic to dig all the way around okay we've got a little party of wolves have turned up for a little fun I love the way they go into this shamed mode where they realize they're going to be beaten. Right, I'm purposefully bringing this up to ground level so that we don't have to jump climb. And then we're going to go back down again to the lowest levels that we've already started digging on the other side. Now the idea of this is to give us a wall to hide behind because Moda's attacks are horizontal and you will not take any damage 
if you are covered by the very tower itself, by the very uh, platform itself. So, once we spawned her, she's going to appear somewhere around here and start attacking us. But if we head down here, we should be able to ping our arrows at her from this location. Now, I can easily get in and out of the tunnel on this side. But what I also want to do uh, is just give myself a little shelter. So I'm going to... Should I do it this side? Probably. Okay, so I'm going to do it on this side. Just carve out enough space here for a workbench, if I can craft one here. And this is just in case... My, my bow requires a little... Actually, my, my bow will probably not be able to be repaired because um, I think it needs silver. But I'm going to just give myself a little, a little roof to hide under. Bravely hide under, I should hasten. If the need requires it, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Okay. That gives us a little place just to hide under so that we can lose line of sight from her. That's the plan anyway. Now I need to go find the final dragon egg before we continue. Then I'll go back home. I won't place it down, but then I'll go back home, prepare in terms of tools, and then we'll come back and see what we can do. Let's get the... Um, the mace and the shield ready to go and we've got to find the nearest egg now there were two egg spawn points pretty close um, I shouldn't make the mistake of going out there hungry and we'll grab a little meat as well now remember this is night time so bad things could happen uh oh. Oh god. It's a two star. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leg it. I've got two health left. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's a two star wolf. Oh my god. I am so dead. No, no. Oh, you absolute asshole. How the hell do you beat those things? They're so powerful. Well, I guess I'm going to sleep the night. <laughs> I feel like that's the only choice. Sleep the night, and then we'll go back there and grab our stuff in a minute. Nothing is straightforward, is it? Let me just see if I can grab my stuff quickly. No, it's a stone golem. Got all my stuff back. Okay. Wherever that golem's gone, I need to quickly arm all my stuff. I like that they add a delay time into actually putting your stuff on. Sort of makes it realistic. Alright, where did he go? We've got to finish him off because he's going to take going to distract from the main fight. Oh, a wolf just turned up at the wrong time. Okay, just got out of the way. i got to let my stamina build back. I'm just going to drag him over here. Now he's the kind that has the, the double-fisted attack. rather than that stabbing attack. Now the roll works super well if you can remember to, to execute it like that when he's about to come in for an attack and the job is done. Ooh, is that one there? I think we found another one. We've got it. This is the final dragon egg we need. 
carrying too much. Why? What have I got on me? Is it just a load of stone? It is. Ah, I could do with equipping. My Megingjord. Still haven't quite worked out how to pronounce that. Let's get rid of this stone. And then we should be good to go. So we have our egg ready. I'm just going to, to simply drop it here. Like, don't you dare roll down the mountain. That's fine. Okay, now what I want to go and do is just head back to my main base and equip the um, as much as I can. I've got the best armor I can possibly get in the game at this level. I've not visited the plains biome, so I don't have any of the, the dark metal or the black metal armor. So I can't get that, which is better than the silver armor. But this is the best I can do. It's fully leveled up silver wolf armor. But I'm gonna, I need to take a whole load of arrows with me and probably a spare bow. We're gonna do most of this fight with ranged attacks. And I need to make sure I've got exactly the right equipment in order to do this. And it's going to involve a whole heap of poison arrows. I'm not going to take the flaming arrows because... Oh, should I? Should I just take loads of arrows? And because I don't simply don't know how long this fight is going to last for, I'm going to take a second bow just in case. Now it's about what food do I take with me? for this fight. Now I'm going to have to take the best I've got and the serpent stew is head and shoulders of the serpent, no, of above the best, um, the best that I have so far so we'll be definitely prioritizing that. I want to make sure I've got a really decent amount of health for this one so um, the sausages will come in way handier uh, than regular meat. Um, although I could take regular meat as well I want to make sure I've got the right Things. Now, what are my choices? Carrot soup or jam. Now, I get a load of stamina for the carrot soup, but not so much health. The jam gives me a little bit of a balance in between the two. So I'm going to stick with the jam. Let's take a whole load of that. Serpent soup we've already got. Serpent stew, I should say, we've already got. And the carrot soup we'll leave behind. Now, I need to let all of this tick down. I need my health to disappear so that I can actually recharge it. And then go back in and start and start a fight. We're going to start a fight with the dragon. Um, one thing we must do though is make sure that we're starting this at the very beginning of the day. So I'll be waiting for not only my health, my sorry, my uh, my food to run out so that I can replenish it, but also so that I can sleep overnight. And then we're going to take on the fourth boss. Moda. And actually, I found out that Moda um, is a bit like German for Oda, which means other. So Moda's name is other. Alright, time to stock up on my food. That's the serpent stew, the queen's jam going in. I need to let that health build up pretty quickly before we can start this though. Let's take the slow journey to the platform where we will begin this fight. I'm kind of excited, but also a little bit scared. Okay, let me just grab the right equipment. My arrows, I brought along two extra bows, all the food, some poison, uh, sorry, some frost resistance mead, which I will take just before beginning the fight. Okay, it's the point of no return, guys. Wish me luck. It's going in. Here we go, here we go. Right. Let's take that frost resistance. Just to give myself a little extra. Okay, Moda is in raid. Look at this beautiful creature. And I can't hit it already. Alright, uh, did I get hit then? It's absolutely gorgeous. I need to get around the other side. Oh, oh look at you. You are gorgeous. Kind of. In a horribly scary way. Just 
taking poison damage. Can't quite decide where I am, which is fine with me. Gonna shoot her up the bump. A little harm done. Okay, I'm trying not to get in her line, uh, line of sight here. But so far, she's kind of stuck on the other side. That suits me fine. Absolutely gorgeous, though. Right, my health is pretty stable now at 178. And she's kind of got herself stuck in a little walking loop over there. I don't mind this one bit. And she's off up into the skies once more. Time for me to come down here and make sure... Oh, make sure I miss. Get out of the way when those frost attacks come down. Oh, I missed as well. Should have clipped a wing. Okay, she's on the ground again. This is kind of scary. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Don't do it, Moda. Oh, you really? You've come to join the party? We don't need no drakes today, thank you. We've got enough to deal with. Hey there, motor. Okay, this is good, this is good. We're going well. I haven't taken any damage from her so far, I don't think. Just need to get her in the face. Look at that beautiful thing. I feel sad that we're actually having to do this. The music's gorgeous. Being this low level seems to be really confusing her. And I did hear this boss wasn't that difficult to beat, but of course preparation again is key. And good aim. Alright, time to move out of the way. How are we doing for arrows? We used up a whole hundred here. Okay, well, that's my shelter lost. <laughs> Don't stand under the shelter when she's going to do one of those ice attacks. I guess you learn the hard way, right? Don't you go and destroy my portal. I can do that myself, you know. <gasps> what are you doing up there? She's on fire. Oh, did she get hit by the fire in my, in my base? Yeah, I think she's caught fire from from the campfire in my in my home. I hope she hasn't destroyed the portal. I will be devastated. I've got no way home. She can't get to me. Look at that. Wow, she's gone for a she's gone to destroy my little platform there. Yeah, she's doing a few bit more melee combat now that she wasn't doing before. I wonder if that's just like a second mode of engagement here. Like a dragon's breath or something. Oh god. I think I'm in melee range here. Okay, we're not. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going for a face shot. Look at that. Kind of got a buzzing around here. Move, move, move. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Yep, yep. It just slowed me right down. Okay. She's back up on top of the platform again. We have to use this headshot job. Whoa. That would be absolutely devastating if that hit me. Realised I haven't equipped my bone mass ability, but I'm, I'm not going to use it now. All right, move. Got away with that. This is when I find out my. After this, I find out my portal's destroyed. 
Whoa! Oh, wow. I just got hit by the ice blast. Wasn't expecting that. I thought I was pretty well hidden down here, but maybe they've changed some of the mechanics of this boss fight. I don't know you could destroy the, uh, the ice crystals that way. Come on, poke up. Peek, peek. She's only got a tiny bit of health left. Okay. Tiny bit of health left. She's still taking a bit of poison damage. I'm wondering if I should go in and finish this off with melee. Because why not? All right, she's on the ground. It's just about to get dark. There she is. Okay, wish me luck. Wow, she's healing. There he goes. Moda in tears. Oh. The poor beast has dropped dragon tears. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And the Moda trophy. How many of those tears did I get? Are there tears down there? Oh no, they're just some of her misfired shots. But look at all this damage she's done. She absolutely destroyed everything. So can't recommend digging around the outside here enough. Forget the forget the hidey hole. It really didn't make a difference. If you've got the right arrows. Fully leveled up Trauger, Trauger Fang Bow. That's the way to do it, guys. Again, preparation is key. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, God, if we can. She was up here damaging things. And I've, I'm really worried that she's destroyed my portal. What is that? A fur guy. Oh, God, please be here. Please be here. Oh, thank God for that. It's still, it's still there. All is well. All right, let's travel to the Stone Circle. This is where we've come. This is all the way I had to go. Oh my god, then this journey I took up here. If you didn't see the last video, guys, you've got to go check it out. But we did it. Moda is defeated. And we got these dragon's tears. Now, I, I don't know quite what they do, but we're about to find out. How many did I get? Uh, we got 10 dragon tears. Beautiful. Well, that allows us to craft something else, I'm sure. What that is, I don't know. First of all, we're going to sleep the night. Maybe we can see what we can craft from the workbench. Is there anything new? Not here. I wonder if it's something we can craft in... in our building menus. Let's have a look. What have we got? I don't see anything new here. Furniture? No. Crafting. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's new. An artisan table. What does that do? It's a different kind of crafting station, but it takes two dragon tears to create. Look at, oh my god. It's it's space age. I am seriously going to have to expand my base. I've got nowhere to put it, and I bet it has to be built indoors. We'll explore what that does in the next episode. Actually, look at the uh, the bow and the damage that it took during that fight. It wasn't far off being broken, so taking a couple of spare bows, thank God it was fully leveled up, but taking a couple of spares, definitely the right choice. Oh, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. The lighting effects coming through the rock there, that looks stunning. Now, I'm just gonna take care of this boar, these boars because they're only going to upset me if they get a little happy while I'm doing what I'm doing. So here it is. Ixir, the Elder, Bone Mass, and now... Let's read this before we hang the trophy. Black wings across the moon and sun, down from the mountain our mother comes. Her weeping tears will fall like rain, her voice will call us home again. It's kind of sad, isn't it? I feel like somehow I may have done the wrong thing. There she is. 
absolutely beautiful trophy. I wish that we could put those on our, our home base. And there we go, the motor skill. Always a tailwind when sailing. That is a very, very cool skill to have. However, it is not one that I will be selecting today. I want to take the bone mass with me. Um, just because I'll be going into the planes very soon and I'm going to need all the help I can get. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode and it was useful if you're trying to work out how to kill Moda or you want to prepare for the fight. If you just do what I did, I think that will give you a really decent chance. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. There's loads more coming. Not just Valheim, of course. Loads of other games on the channel. There's a huge back catalogue if you're interested. And I will see you in the next episode. All the best, guys. Good night.